Today, we're going to take a look at backdooring a macOS computer by pretending to be a trusted application on this episode of Cyber Weapons Lab. Today, we're going to take a look at an attack by Tokyo Neon that was written on Nullbyte and you can refer to in the article linked in the description. Now, this attack is awesome because it targets macOS computers by taking advantage of the fact that it's really difficult to know which version of an application is requesting permission, and this allows us to spoof a malicious one as something trusted like iTunes. Now, we're going to pull this off by basically creating an application that has the same name as a trusted app. And after getting the user to click on a file, waiting a certain period of time, and then running our malicious application afterwards. Now, our payload today is going to be a backdoor, but you could do pretty much anything. And the backdoor in this example is also pretty persistent as it will reconnect every 60 seconds, even if the host goes down for a set period of time. Now, in order to do this, you will, you will need access to a macOS computer. And I also recommend you have a second computer, like an Ubuntu computer or a Kali Linux computer ready to go in order to set up the backdoor connection and make sure this works. Once you have both of those set up, then we can begin. Hey Bytes, in 2019, YouTube started enforcing a ban on instructional hacking. And as a result, we started getting warnings and even a strike on some of our content. Now, in order to make sure we didn't get taken off YouTube entirely, we had to move some of the more problematic videos over to the Nullbyte website. Now, I understand this is a little bit annoying, but you can still access the content by checking out the link below and in the description. Thanks for understanding. In fact, on this one, I didn't even get a prompt asking me for permission, so yeah, not a lot of, really not a lot of warning there. Oh, what's this? What's... What's this? And there you go. Now, this attack is a great example of how macOS behaviors can be exploited to trick a user into doing something they really shouldn't do. A perfect way of deploying this is by putting it on a thumb drive and having a text file say, uh, maybe reward if you return me, and then making it so that they plug it in and try to do the right thing, open it up to try to get the address of the person to return it to, and end up maybe doing something like either backdooring their computer or downloading some ransomware. You can check out the Nullbyte article linked in the description if you had any problem setting this up, or if you want to read more details about the commands that we talked about in the previous section. That's all we have for this episode of Cyber Weapons Lab. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any ideas for future episodes, send me a message on Twitter at Cody Kinsey, because I'd love to hear from you. We'll see you next time.